Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Stardew Valley, featuring our sleeping dog, because he's a tired boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Queen of Sauce rerun, so we don't need it, but, but I always like to double check just in case. Windy day tomorrow. What we got going on here? Not a whole lot by the looks of it. Um, we do not have enough gold for our house, because, er house because I missed thought because I'm an idiot um yeah so there's that um and nothing's really done we got some bok choy done so our house upgrade is 25,000 not 10,000 or 15,000 I mean so yeah maybe I said 10,000 I don't know I said a number that was not right that's all I need to know You won't have anything. Alright, we need to go and feed. We have to feed our chickens. Alright, so we're just going to put our hardwood away. Uh, we're gonna actually upgrade our pickaxe today because it needs to be done. Um, I need the hay. on foraging. Need to make sure I don't hit my special trees. Oh, I want to make the fertilizer. Fiber and stone. Planted thirty of the, or no, twenty of the seeds. I probably did. They're on somewhere. Good morning, baby girl. Okay, baby. My daughter just woke up. Regular apple, good. We only need one more. Now let's put that in there. Nope, I lied. Got him in there. One more. Should have it tomorrow. We are going to create the fried egg. We need an egg and a milk for the omelet. A sunfish and a bream for baked fish. We Alright, I need a fish, a seaweed, and a rice. Ah, uh, Pierre's is closed, so we can't do that today. You know, I place that chest down there so I can put my animal byproducts in there. How am I doing about that? I'm not so good. And they're not even in this one. Where on earth did I put them? Well, let's grab one of these while we're here. There's my cloth. Do I really only have one cloth? Oh, because I sold the gold star one, that's right. Yep, okay. This is why I cannot be trusted with things.
All right, we're gonna go get our X upgrading first. Our pickaxe, I should say. I should be more specific. Oh, and the wedding is tomorrow. It's always a sunny day on the day of the wedding. Steel pickaxe. We're gonna hand this in because we can. Oh, I forgot about the squid kid. Oh well. I can probably do that for you, D-Man. All the blackberries. Shouldn't be spending my money like this, but I need to get that finished. I'm gonna go put our brand new little right lightning rod down. And we're gonna grab this hazel nut first. Cause hey, that's free money in the bank. Wild Plum, thank you. I'm gonna pop this bad boy right here. Bam. Sell all this. I'm not getting distracted, you're getting distracted. Alrighty, Mr. Wizard. You're a wizard, Osmodius. Ah. How are we doing with Mr. Wizard? He's moving up. He moved up quite a bit, actually, because he was bottom until I gave him that second gift. Alright, we're going to chop some wood.
I wish the blackberries gave me foraging experience. I don't think they do. And I know I should be saving, like... Oh, there's a common mushroom. Booyah. Uh, Demetrius is not going to be outside because it's raining. Cannot get to him before they close. Oh, that's okay. We'll visit him tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think harvesting the berry bushes gives you experience for forging. Or if it does, it's probably like one, so it's so minimal you don't see the bar move at all. And you only see the bar move if you have the mod that I do. And like I've said before, it's the only mod that I use. It is the experience mod. Um, just so you can see the levels of your tools. And is it necessary? No. Can you enjoy the game without it? Of course. I just personally, like, it's something that I wish was in the game. Um, and it doesn't break the game by having it up there. It just lets me know literally how I'm doing in certain things. And as you can see by most of this, most of this let's play, I pretty much go to bed at, at empty stamina anyway, so I'm always plugging away something. So. And instead of checking my skills every time to see if I level something up, I just can look and I know. I really gotta work on that fishing though, it's still only level 5. Usually my fishing is much higher than this, but I've been... I'm going a little heavier on the farming this time. Um, and it's working out pretty well, I think. Because we just have that money coming in, especially when those cranberries are done. And we keep we just keep planting more. And I'm loving this. Three blackberries per harvest. Look at all these blackberries in here. Ooh, sneaky little fast slime. I'll say, you can give me a dwarf scroll. So that's completely cleared out again. And you could do that every day. I, th I think I said that before, but I'm going to reiterate it. Every day, that hardwood, those hardwood stumps come back. Um, and you need 150 for the house upgrade, which is what we're doing next. Um, we just don't have the money for it right now, and that's okay. Because we will have it soon enough. The sooner we get that house upgrade, the better off we're going to be, actually. Because we need the basement. We need the upstairs if we're going to have kids. And tomorrow is our wedding, I'm pretty sure. I think tomorrow is day three. Hope it wasn't today because it was a rainy day. Nah, it's always sunny on our wedding day. I'll be able to, in two days, I'll be able to knock off the big stones on the farm. And that's going to do a lot of clearing for us. And that's going to give us a lot of stone as well. It's going to help us in the mines when we go back into the mines. Overall, we're in pretty good shape all around. Skills are leveling up nicely. We've already maxed out our um, farming our foraging and mining are both at 8. Our combat's at 7. And our fishing's at 5. But fishing's not hard to level up. And we're going to be leveling that up come uh, winter time. Because we're going to do a lot of fishing in the winter. Because there's not a whole lot else to do. 
don't get me wrong, I could be in the mines every day, but we don't need to be. And we might be in the mines long enough to get some extra uh, resources, but I have 117 blackberries. I kind of want to see what one sells for. So we're just going to pop one in there just to see the sell value of it. We should have maxed out foraging by the end of fall. Maybe not. We're on fall 10 already. Might be close. Got a lot of sap. Oh, I forgot we have thir we have thirteen mixed seeds. We might have to plant those next. Oh, we can plant some right now. Actually, what time is it? Eleven fifty. We got time. Uh, let's pop. Nope, we want to pop that in. Actually, we don't need the hardwood right now. Let's do that. Let's plant the mixed seeds because I forgot we have some space to do that with. I think that's it for those. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Pop those back in and we're going to head to bed. I think we talked to Doggo already. We're going to do it again. Yep. We're good. And yeah. So that's going to do it for this episode of Starter Value. Valley, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, look at all that money just coming on in. And I'll see. Oh, wait. We want to see. almost forgot. Truffle oil is $14.91. I don't know how much a truffle goes for right now. Blackberry is 22 gold. So that's actually a decent chunk, uh, chunk of change if we decide to sell that. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time.